All righty, welcome to episode four. We've got our good friends Jake and Bodine Wirahana. From... <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently from the bottom of the you ocean. You are a <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Where's your crustacean? You're a fucking peanut, mate. Let's right. get this I'm the peanut out of the way. Of the ocean. He's a fucking uh, peanut. Peanut of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Jake is the uh, drummer. And Howdy. Bo is the guitarist, or Hello. one of the guitarists from At Devs, who are... How would you describe At Devs? Your question, definitely. Uh, I don't know, because I heard Drew say the other day that they, their class is like maybe? progressive metalcore, and I was like, oh, if they're progressive metalcore, what are we? Uh, <laughs> Probably Shit. the same. I don't know. <laughs> Probably the same, I would think. Yeah. Um, um, it's progressive metalcore where you dye your hair blue, get a half <laughs> thing, <laughs> and over everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's... Uh... <laughs> oh, man, we're halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> su- super uh, progressive, <laughs> but we're core. We're fucking core <laughs> we're as metal. fuck. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I can't believe you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know how you would actually um, describe it. Like, we're going through some change. I suppose we were, like, kind of metalcore ish before, like, going back with Anthropocene and, like, the EP yeah. and stuff like that. There was a bit of progressive stuff in there, but it wasn't really, like, right Can now. Can give a definition of Anthropocene? A definition mm. of Anthropocene? Uh, <laughs> like, what, what, what do you mean? What do you want? Jake's like, <laughs> it's like one plus one equals potato. <laughs> like, like, quick mouth. Uh, uh, yeah. I was, I That's know. when man's reached a golden age or some shit. I don't know. No, I'm just no, a guitarist. I just write like guitars. And uh, what I'm Jake to give it an <laughs> 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 oh, oh, What do you want? What do you want? The meaning of the word? Well, it's a it's German, an era. So German yeah. Oxford Anthropocene Dictionary. is the human extinction era. Totally knew that. Yeah. Well, I know the lyrics to all the songs as well, believe it or not. I don't believe you. Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't to be know. fair, neither do I. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics to any of your shit songs either. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, good songs, good songs. Uh, feeling is mutual. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys put out... Uh, Anthropocene, Anthropocene. <laughs> Anthropocene. <laughs> I'm studying to be an archaeologist. Can't pronounce anthropology words. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you put that out. How long was that? Two years? Um, about a year and a half now. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's when the, we dropped the EP and yeah. did that like a we put the video out for that like a month before the EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was with Joe, eh? Joe Varley. Yeah, Joe Varley. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolute lad. Love you, Joe. Yep. Wait, just turn the mic towards your mouth a bit there, Jake. Hot. Yeah, um, that's hot. Speak, yeah. Where were you? Where are you going after this pod? Jake actually has to leave early. So I do. Um, where are you going? I'm a. Uh, I'm going to be uh, retreating to an electronic dance music festival, called? Hot Dub Wine Machine. No, that's right. Yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be mad. And yeah. how'd you get the tickets? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd it's like actually it's know. actually a very good story. Um, <laughs> my mother's friend bought her husband. And my parents' tickets, and then <laughs> mum and dad realised it was going to be a festival full of young people on d rugs, like so they pills. went to their dealer and, and then just so got the, a shitload yeah, of fingers. Yeah, right? so, yeah, they drove to Quinana and was like, "Oh, you can't give us some meth," and that was just mum. Um, <laughs> so, um, and yeah, so me, me and my missus took uh, took the tickets, and now we're going to be going to a, a EDM festival. It's going to be sick. Well, it's actually playing. a really good cover for the real story. So what's actually happened is Jake, your mum's going through a midlife sexual, <laughs> sexual awakening. Yeah, fact. and uh, yeah. she's trying to get her MDMA, and she's trying to fuck. <laughs> that's, that's what's uh, well, it's funny when I was doing MDA, MDMA with her last night, she did actually try and crack on to me. So it was, yeah. I mean, when when the opportunity presents itself, I mean, you just got to go for it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, that's that's a story for another time. When are you ever going to get ancestral again in your entire life? Like it's either now or later, right? Yeah, now two months. Jesus Christ, <laughs> this has devolved. You know what? <laughs> you know what you were getting yourself into doing this shit. So, yeah. <laughs> so oh, what I'm have you got? Any plans for new music then? We're currently writing, uh, we've got pretty much two, we've got two singles, don't we? So it's yeah. just a fact of actually learning them so they're stage ready and then um, just making little adjustments here and there. So we hope, what, like a month, maybe two months and we'll be releasing something? Yeah, I was just trying to get things because beforehand we were like just trying to put out songs for the sake of writing stuff and then like yeah. after we had like a member lineup change and everything else, like we ended up uh, going through everything. And so tell everyone about your lineup change. People probably don't know yet, or a lot of people. 
with uh, uh, with, uh, with, yeah, two vocal, with, with two Matt. vocalists. Yeah. in the band, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So we got Matt, yeah, yeah, um, who's a vocalist as well as like a studio engineer and stuff. So writing stuff with him is a lot easier because he knows how to like um, write music, yeah, write yeah. music knows, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's just easier for someone to drive because like I'm a pretend fake person who knows what he's doing, whereas um, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> have you seen Whereas, his videos yeah he's go and look at his facebook videos you will shit your they're pants. pretty shit don't do that um but yeah like here's matthews um yeah he, he just knows like production and everything else like the value of yeah how everything should be done um so writing with him where i don't really have to use a computer and he's just like yeah record this that was sick do this that was cool don't do this that yeah so it's a lot easier to write with that and have like one theme rather than Oh, all of us before in a band room. Just, like, oh, yeah. yeah, because people would have seen you, probably seen you doing shows with dual vocals. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt Wilding. He's, uh, it's good to have, like, have him on because I've heard some of your new stuff. I've probably heard the singles. I just don't know which ones you've picked. Oh, yeah. has he now? Oh, oh, yeah. oh okay, bro. No, no, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. I heard that's them fine. before you, actually, Jake. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah, Probably. I'm, the, I'm the last to know. Zane's <laughs> like, that? Zane, every time I write anything, even if it's something ridiculous or something that will never get, like, thing, Zane has probably, like, uh, he, is, uh, he is better than Dropbox right now. I pretty much send it to him on his Dropbox. Zane likes always writing songs out music. Into Basically. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Uh, this is what a Carlton Dry. Fuck is Carlton this? Dry. <laughs> Normie, if you're listening... This one's for you, bud. So, Quality river water. So yeah, we like to drink actual water. good yeah. beers on this podcast. And that's and what I'm he's doing. rolled in with river water. Oh. Glorified river water. Hold on, everyone, everyone, just listen. Mm. Was he giving a gobby? Or was that he is good. You know what? That actually st- sounded strangely like the sound of diarrhea rushing out of someone's <laughs> ass. <laughs> and it's, it's weird because it also because tastes it like too. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, actually, we're drinking a Hawker's XPO. Yeah, f- recommended by the uh, the boys at Main Liquor. Never had it before, but uh, actually my first sip, I thought it was disgusting. I was just going to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've had a bit now and I'm coming around. It's quite nice. Yeah, coming it's around. pretty good. We'll, we'll uh, give a full lowdown later in the episode. Load um, down? Full load <laughs> incoming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, two, so what are you going to do? Two songs and uh, just bust out singles? Are you going to do an EP again or what do you reckon? We've got an EP planned yeah so but we want to release a single just because it's been like it's like a year and a half since we've released anything so well, we've changed yeah. that sound is like just pretty, oh, pretty it's, much evolved it's, like it's so it's, different yeah, yeah the yeah. new tracks sound nothing like the ep yeah hey i'm hey. the only one here that hasn't heard any of this because we hate you okay <laughs> 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 oh, he's like okay it's i'll just jump italian. off the back it's because he's italian isn't it yeah, it, it is yeah pig. we're I'm really we're feeling quite racist racial heat here yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually feel a hell uncomfortable being on this couch with you. Yeah. Like pretty I'm a, what, less than a meter away from me. Yeah. Well, I'll whip <laughs> I'll whip you with a string of spaghetti. <laughs> I'll give you fifteen lashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's what I call foreplay, man. Cool. <laughs> I'm down for it. Sounds pretty hot actually. It's hot. It's hot. So what's uh you said Matt's like into audio production and stuff. Are you gonna Will he be doing the production and recording and stuff? Or? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So uh, at the moment, it's uh, it's good having someone on that, like who actually knows on that level um, what he's doing. Because you know um, what you're doing, though. Not not as not, not as much as Matt, but you still know. What you're I, doing, I know two percent of what Matt knows. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's then I'll it. shut up. Like, well, Bo, Bo, I would say you know enough to like tr- you could track everything, but yeah, yeah, yeah that's knows it. how to do a that's bit of mixing it. and all I that couldn't stuff. do anything else. Yeah. Um, he, he just has a knowledge for it and the, like the headspace because it's like when you write something you, you must feel this way as well doing for your solo stuff and light the dark and whatever else when you're writing stuff and it just ends up being um when you have too many hats on i think ron was talking about this you end up trying to do like all the writing and then you switch it going mixing and then doing so much stuff it just takes up so much time and you end up like ha- you know mixing or something or trying to mix like for two or three hours and you're like wow i got nowhere whereas someone who actually does do that and doesn't play i matthew can do that a lot efficiently than what I can do. Yeah. Did so. he study, study it or? Yeah, he did uh, Whopper, I think. Um, oh, really? And then he's been doing it for ages now. So we have we have a Whopper a student. In oh, <laughs> we have a Whopper student. Yeah, are gonna, well, yeah. are we're be better coming, than everyone. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to transition to an avant avant avant? I avant garde, <laughs> avant garde jazz band. Yeah, that's how obnoxious yeah. that fucking word is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, yeah, it's it, it should be good though. I like, yeah. yeah, I can't talk highly enough about like just how easy it is now that everything is because it's like he write, he sits there and pretty much writes. It's and so well, it's so like, different. Yeah, like, the writing process that we do now is so yeah. different. It's so 
better and we get stuff a lot more stuff done yeah. in a shorter time like yeah. it's still it takes us so long to write things because yeah. we're just i don't know why it just we're, it takes ages to write a song yeah. but the end result that we've got now with these two singles they're absolutely amazing compared to what we ha- what we have produced in the past speak for yourself <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Okay. No, I, I, would, I, would a, I would agree with that. Matt's got like a bit of bought a bit of songwriting know how. I would I think... agree with it if I could fucking hear it. <laughs> <laughs> keep me in the loop a bit. Hey, Sorry, man. throw me a bunch. Keep <laughs> me in the loop. Wait, I wait, 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 the loop. Wait, yeah, wait. fuck. Never ask a gay man to throw you a bone. <laughs> That's true. All right, I'm fucking triggered. All right, we got a bedroom right there. We're going to take a break. Josh, you and me. <laughs> Come back, there's micro yep. and f- microphone will be balls deep. In there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we were just playing and then... <laughs> <laughs> we're just doing just a podcast. Like. Yeah, yeah. I get Josh to come join in, otherwise it's cheating for us to, you know, <laughs> involve me. Oh, it's a, it's a My name's Josh as well. Oh, yeah, okay, it's, it's not enough. cheating anymore. I was drunk and his name is Josh, so I suck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what of it? <laughs> if you listen to this, I love you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! So Thanks, is, man. I'm reckon, glad you love me. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon uh, Matt will mix and master and everything too? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's just like uh, <laughs> Jake really? doesn't look oh, so I, sure. I had no idea. Oh, Jake's I thought like, we were gonna get master. No, 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 no. Let's. Uh, oh, what did you want to do, Jake? How were you gonna mix and master? Were you gonna mix and master? Were you? <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. We, yeah, you want to bring this back up Sit again? Fuck I said it one time that I could do it. Okay. <laughs> it was one joke. <laughs> Totally could do it. And right. drama. Sorry, I, <laughs> this is what we end here up for. giving yeah. it all to Jake. It just sounds like a five-year-old mix. Oh, it's hell sick. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's, you get That's it back. It. It's just a drum track. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's dead quiet. I think it sounds hell good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why did this cost ten grand? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing deep nangs with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> just before hot tub time. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? Uh, in the Swan Valley. Is it? No uh, shit. It's that gonna be the awesome. last place you would expect an EDM festival to be. Not really. They do all, they're all the time. I'm I'm at all of them. Yeah, <laughs> electronic dad music, <laughs> with, uh, electronic dad names. <laughs> so you guys got any shows coming up or anything? No, nah. nah, no Not shows. Riding. We were nah. offered a show. Was it like two days ago or something? Gym? Yeah, offered it. Yeah, and we just said nah because we just want to focus on pretty much writing. Yeah, and, and that, release that reminds music. me, Jimmy offered that show to us too, but obviously after you said no. So fuck you, Jimmy. When, when <laughs> did he ask you? Dirty show scrap. <laughs> 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 did you take it? I know Jim listens to this, so I'm just kidding, man. We love. We're you. not kidding. We hate you, Jimmy. Nah, we can't do it either. We um, you know, we don't have full time drummer. Yeah. Other oh than, yeah. Other than you've offered very generously to help oh, us out. Well, I've um, I've told out depths out. I'm not with them anymore and I'm with the light of the dark. <laughs> oh, thank good. fuck. Oh. Yeah. It was so, just such a load off my... Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're not finally, who told him that? That's we, awesome. We had, <laughs> thank you. I like no, that everyone's coming out up. this shit on the podcast. If you want to know the fucking goss, this is where you come. <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, Constructs was Jimmy, um, the dude, goes in their band, their metal, uh, yeah. Actually quite decent. Um, what's the other one? Um, yeah, we didn't get any details of the show, so I didn't... We just pretty much said no because we're hey, yeah, Jimmy. No, no drummer and uh, we're balls deep in writing at the moment. Yeah, yeah we're pretty yeah. How much have you guys got written? Pretty much an album. I think we have 15 from. songs. Really? We'll have to pick. Oh, I do yeah. remember you talking to Drew about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to As pick. As Drew like blows you out the water and says he's got 30. Well, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's nice. all we're saying. Yeah, Why yeah. does anyone, everyone else have no songs? Stole <laughs> <laughs> them all. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He's the Grinch of songs. <laughs> Living up there in his mountain, keeping all the songs. Well, yeah. When you can play guitar like that, you can probably shit a song out in about 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. fucking true. Eh? Did awesome. the amount of stuff that like he was like, oh, do you want to use this for you? And this and this. I'm like, wow, so you already have like five albums all ready to go. Right, so I forgot to bring that up actually. Yeah. Um, we talked about The Infinite when Drew was on. Yeah. And we did talk about you, Bo, um, how you and... We're talking shit about you, but how you and <laughs> Drew write cool. together. Yeah, and cool. so for those listening, Bo is also in The Infinite, which is a two-man pretty much uh, prog project yeah. with uh, Drew from Make Way For Man. It's, uh, there's no vocals. It's all guitar work. It's pretty cool. They've got, some, they've got a cool. video out there that will make you set fire to all your guitars. <laughs> uh, Please don't do that. that. <laughs> uh, well, don't need this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. No, it's worth checking out. It's two of the... Two of the best guitarists in Perth. I'll one say. of Drew. One of two. Yeah. Two of the best. <laughs> hey, hey, get some 
fucking self-esteem. <laughs> Don't get so down on yourself. Yeah, everyone bro. listening, Bo is easily one of the best guitarists in Perth. Well, ha- He's who were the all most those? modest as well. There was all these like famous guitarists that commented on your last video too. The oh my god! Was Glass Cloud, eh? Yeah, uh, Glass yeah, Cloud. Jerry. There was a couple. Uh, yeah, there was that. There was John Brown from fucking Monuments. Lucas Mann from Rings of Saturn. Dude. Uh, yeah, I know. Rings yeah, of Saturn. Why are we yeah. not touring the states? <laughs> like, <laughs> hook it up, bro. Probably because you're in the band. Fact, They're like, yeah. Oh, that you yeah, got yeah, that true. dickhead. Yeah, drummer. that dickhead who's yeah. always like. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, pretty much fucks us. Yeah. No, <laughs> no deep sea crustaceans on this tour. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> oi, oi, fucking hell! I just realised he's stolen your fucking shirt. I can't believe yeah, it. Yes, too. Nah, I had it originally. I can't nah. fucking believe this. He's a dog cut. He's, a, <laughs> he's a dog cut. Dog slut. Comes on our podcast yeah. and. Fucking jacks, straight jacks your outfit. Well, I, walked I was in. gonna wear that. You guys didn't notice well. that I walked in without a shirt on. I was and gonna then <laughs> went straight into Josh's room and took it. And I was like, I need a shirt, bro, because I just been hanging out in the train station I, with I, a I bunch know. of methies and I had to sell it for a bag of meth. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're going to hot tub time. And shit. <laughs> need to stay awake for those those headliners. <laughs> for <Yeah>. sets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stay away for those headliners. <laughs> They're in the crowd, going. Fucking hell. Oh, I bet you like once Jake leaves, there'll be no lighting in the room. He's just taking <laughs> all the light bulbs. You, you got like, no oh. big pens left. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do drugs. It's, it's not good. Oh, I'm surprised the... you still got all your teeth. Yeah. Yeah, that. <laughs> Healthy teeth, that is. I'm a bit yellow and dead, but you know, it's going good. <laughs> Jesus, I know a good dentist actually. If you need help. <laughs> Scrape all that black tar off Bro Jesus Christ This isn't a Rip piss on me podcast Alright uh, This is actually can isn't be. a podcast uh, can be. <laughs> 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 The mum and dad are behind me Dad's just fucking doing nangs Look, You need help son <laughs> Holy fuck uh, So who, who did the um, Production for your last EP Was that Matt Templeman Ah uh, yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah it was Matt Templeman Um yeah, that was uh, a whole a pretty much compilation of um, um, stuff that we had written like years ago. Uh, yeah. Like Friction was like a hell old song. When, that was um, when you were in uh, James's apartment. Yeah, that was when I was No, we started young. that when you were with Daryl. James. Yeah, when I was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, that's yeah, a long who, time. Who mate. are these people, James, Daryl? Uh, James is uh, one of my best friends. He's pretty much the one that helps with like the house land and stuff. The one that like, yeah, okay, pretty much yeah. gave me a room when I needed one like back in the day. Um, pretty much helped me out with life in general so yeah I love that guy Um, but yeah he yeah I was living with him and I ended up doing it uh, Jake came over and we ended up setting up this like a dingy this is when I knew nothing oh, like using garage band being like oh, this is professional as fuck man did you hear these Fruity tones loops. yeah how yeah good's, how good's the drum machine oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, this is when I knew nothing. it was good enough for like uh, pre-prod stuff yeah. like because we did that, that was when we first stopped kind of trying to write things and yell things in the in the band room and like, uh, it's just point we were shocking at that yeah so i don't i don't think that's um do you guys write like that no i don't no, i don't think many yet. people do write like that anymore it's too and hard not for the kind of stuff that we play maybe like uh like stoner doom stuff like that maybe if you camp cope oh man how good's camp cope they're actually playing today <laughs> <laughs> camp oh, cope orange you know. Just telling oh. people to eat shit. Courtney yeah. Barnett. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Seriously, though, how good is Courtney Barnett, though? Oh. Uh, I give her a one out of seven. Oh. Yeah. One out of seven? Yeah. All right. Smith Street Band? Uh, zero out of seven. Well, wow. awesome. <laughs> Okay, well, be cool. Oh, um, fuck. Cool. I give and Courtney a one. Zero being Cam amazing. Code, then. <laughs> Cam, Cam Cope's a poor man, Smith Street Band. Fuck it out. No, I can't stand all that shit either. Hell, oh. hell Aussie... Uh, well, it's literally, I've said, I've said, I've Josh this before, you know, you know I've said this before, up. you can literally, I'll grab this beer can, for example, you can just read anything <laughs> off it, it's like, a bright and refreshing beer with a big hot presence, uh, you know, you can just do whatever you want. Was that a national anthem? No, no, that's what I thought, that's what I thought, eh? Was that a national anthem? Did you just oh, sing that our national anthem and replace Wait, the words with the back of that Hey, Smith What the <laughs> fuck, Josh? Smith Street fans re- releasing the new national anthem. <laughs> oh, just be right, thankful he didn't National just... anthem, Australian <laughs> chorus, Australian national anthem chorus, sorry. Just be thankful he didn't sing the fucking Italian national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> How's that go? 
fuck you. <laughs> Do you actually have to learn that to get your citizenship? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I have to learn. <laughs> Fucking nothing. Really? <laughs> you just got to pay for yeah. it? You just I go just there and you just have to cook up a bowl of uh, spaghetti. <laughs> but I, I went in there and they, they're like, cook this Italian. pasta. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Make uh, the sauce and lucky your mama. And then they give yeah. you a contract. All you got to do is like lob spaghetti onto the sun. <laughs> you're like, yeah, sweet, you son. <laughs> like if your tomatoes weren't ripe enough when you're making the sauce, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> you, ne- you got no chance. The family rejects you. You have your last name <laughs> revoked. Have you got that already? You do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for the pass. I get my passport in like six what weeks. What is the reason? So why have you got it? Look the fuck out. Actually, all of you. But why have you got it though? What? Why have you got? Why did you get it? Why have you chosen now to get your? Ah, uh, because I can. Literally, so you have no reason just, of getting it. Well, why just why not? So I can yeah, have yeah, why don't you? European citizenship as well as yeah, why suppose. wouldn't you? Yeah, fuck you, Joe. So How good is it that yeah. I don't have it? Or yeah, that I don't have it anymore? Fucking dumb cat. <laughs> In fact, I am. No. <laughs> no, can't you do the same thing? Or no. Hey, wait, well, wait. Did you just think was getting out of the? Did you just intelligence? Oh, that's right. The dual. Hey, did I assume his intelligence? Fucking believable. So first, triggered, first eh? ten seconds, we get an f bomb. Yeah, with a gay uh, man on the podcast. Also, let, let's, this, is, let's, this is filled with hate speech and cool. unaware intelligence. We ask you how how do you feel about those terrible words he was saying to you both? <laughs> uh, kind of turns me on. So uh, <laughs> sweet, there's a bedroom right there. You want to? I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is over. Well, <laughs> <laughs> podcast done. Yeah. Some shit to sort out. Yeah. No, I actually don't care. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> No, we know you don't care, but it's, it's because it's from a place of love. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be... Di- oh, yeah, obviously. That, yeah. It'd be different if it was somebody actually saying it, you know? If it's, if it's from hatred, way. it's bad. Yeah. But aggression, he's down with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Choke me, Daddy. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference. That did happen once, I a show. What? I won't name the band, but... No, it was we won't. I was there, If anything, it wound me up more than... But he was like, no, I just don't know. I was like, no, fuck that, man. It's uh, not yeah. right. What well, actually yeah, happened? Yeah. I did, because I didn't, I heard about it. Was man, this, was was this a show with... at the Boston? Is this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. our show. Yes, right. We're that actually too. gets me angry. Still. It was, yeah. hold on, was it, it was our EP launch. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, that's narrowed it was. down. A certain person, we won't, we won't go any yeah. more into details. It yeah. doesn't need to be. Yeah, it just, yeah, I don't know. Um... I think the one member was just like really, really drunk. Uh, and obviously you don't fucking think when you're saying stuff. He must have heard it from someone. And then he probably saw me smooch Josh or some shit. And then, yeah, completely just started going off. So but I, like, I think he, he he was saying it like as a joke. And then I was kind of like, oh, okay. It didn't yeah. seem like a joke because I was right next to him when he said it. Yeah. Oh, and really? He was, he was quite aggressive about yeah. it. Yeah, I wanted to punch him in his fucking face. Yeah. I was oh, hell I angry. Know, yeah. But it, it just, I didn't, I was like, what? It just took me so <laughs> by surprise. I was like, "What yeah. the fuck is happening?" Yeah, I, 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 it, 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 I, I don't think it really matters because when he's sober, he's not really like that. It's just when he's drunk. So, but at that what point, kind of excuse well, is that? That's a shit excuse. Yeah. yeah well, it's not. It's not like I'm gonna like completely tear shreds off him in public and be like, <laughs> "Well, no, I know." Uh, but <laughs> now sure. your band can't play anywhere. In, I know, but not, like not, the, a, a classic example is if you're drunk driving, kill someone. You still killed someone whether you're drunk or not. If you yeah, say yeah, shitty drunk. things when you're drunk, you're probably just a shit person. I know. I just hope like he would have taken something out of that and be like, "Man, this is." hell fucking like you know when you do something stupid when you're drunk you're like fuck I'm never doing that again it's like ends up being a life lesson yeah but did he ever say sorry to you no he didn't well there you go <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> no it's not, yeah. I don't know it's probably awkward for him because he's probably realised he's like fuck do you think he remembered it nah I don't know no, I don't, yeah doubt it yeah, yeah he was he was shit faced but I just don't think that's an excuse yeah yeah I don't, yeah, I don't I don't want to, yeah, say things that it's it's okay because it's definitely not, especially nah. if you don't know them. Like it's fucking 2018, like 2008. Yeah, well, we've already. <laughs> <laughs> you can't I say hope it's X not 2008. Yeah. <laughs> 2008, dude. If it's 2008, we can all grow our fringes out and start wearing bullet boot Wow, bullet belts. bulletproof bullet belt, belt buckles. Owned one. Oh, owned a bullet belt. That was the Did sickest. Dad, that dad was I have sickest. a fringe right now. I'm practically living. Fuck, well, my mum well, never yeah. like gave me a fucking like never let me have a fringe. She always used to give me like bowl cuts. Like exactly what you were talking about with fucking Drew. It got me so angry. Oh, I never Josh got a fringe. I never got belt. a fucking <laughs> fringe. And then like I went to school with like just fucking short hair and then like Vincent and stuff ended up being the the, <laughs> the, the, the Ronnie Radke of that thing. I was like, oh man, that guy is so fucking cool. Uh, <laughs> fringe and shit. Because uh, anyone that had a hell bowl, the bowls were cool. That's uh, like, oh, <laughs> I, was, I was gonna bring this up actually. You know how Drew was ripping piss on you saying that you had a bowl cut and all that sort of stuff? 
had the exact same car. Yeah, I always yeah, have really. the same car. I have a photo. Yeah. There's some, a photo somewhere of me, Lindsay, and Mick when we were young, and we all have just the biggest bowls. Mine was always the biggest. Mine went like just below my eyes. I was like, if it goes past your eyes and gives you a headache all day, <laughs> You mad cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that's how you get socially ranked in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how deep the ball is. <laughs> uh, that's fucked. They, so, they do a plastic Josh, cast of your Josh, bowl maybe cut. Maybe when I was younger there. Uh, <laughs> Tell you, I had a mad blonde bowl. Oh, it was. Oh, it's, that's, that's the full it's a dick bowl as it's well. A proper, it's, got, it's a proper oh, penis. So, so it's got bowl. like that dick it's where fat. it's like shaved short at the side of your ears. <laughs> yeah, so the top of your head actually looks like the bowl. Of it your was top. literally... It'd be so good I was literally a giant could, bell end from yeah. birth. <laughs> if they could just shave like a tiny bit at the top so you had a jap side as well. Would have been fucking oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> It's pretty hot. It's I know. Me at that age. <laughs> actually, if if I had a time machine, you were a pretty I'll tell cute you what. Kid, actually. What well, you got a hot dub time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be sick. All right, wait, Zane, you were a cute kid. What the fuck happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you tell us? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Meth. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> You've already covered this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we've been there, we've done it. Let's not yeah, yeah. go back. To it. It's fine. It's fine. Leave it as oh, it is. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Yeah, so doing everything in house now. No shows planned. What else is going on with Ad Devs? Just, just trying to get your shit together for the single. Yeah, pretty much. Are yeah. you guys like uh, getting ready, f- getting close to like doing artwork and shit? Are you going to do videos or? Haven't even hit. Haven't even started to think about that. But we will have to hit someone up for artwork, obviously, because you'll put it on, uh, like Spotify and iTunes and all that. Yeah, so all that good yeah, stuff. yeah, we'll have to. I'll start emailing some people. Do you think you'll do a video? Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we are doing yeah. a video. That's how we'll release yeah. um, our first track with a video. Can I already tell you who it's going to be? Joe Varley. It's, jo- <laughs> hun- it's always Joe Varley. Photos, Joe Varley. I feel, Joe I feel Varley dirty for, if I use Joe Varley else. for president. Yeah, Joe Varley, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. I, I feel dirty if I use anybody else yeah. or if he's not available. I'm like, oh, God damn it. Who are you guys using for your video? Joe. <laughs> there you go. There Joe. You go. The, the problem is, it's not that Joe's not awesome. Joe's obviously fucking yeah, awesome, yeah. especially for someone who's self-taught. Yeah, he's put so much it's into the yeah, community. Yeah. Like, just everybody knows what Joe's done yeah. for our music scene. Yeah. He's fucking killed it. For JB Hi-Fi, <laughs> he's basically and for beanie sales. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him out in public without a beanie on. Dude, yeah, for even those when he's or don't know Joe. Joe will be, it'll be like 2,000 degrees and Joe will have a beanie. <laughs> so, he, he's dedicated to beanie that beanie. Shorts. He even beanie. wears it when he's at home on the computer. <laughs> yeah, his webcam's on, he's fucking sitting in Yeah, the, but his aircon apparently is fucking hell cold. Like, I know, it's sorry, it was. <laughs> he ended up going in there and it's like Turn fucking it off, literally. Yeah, the, exactly. Here's the thing though, you can turn aircons on. Yeah. Oh, man. Maybe. <laughs> what if you like took his beanie off and he's actually an android? There's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's actually yeah, a yeah, motherboard he's actually, inside he's his head. head. Yeah. He's just a cone head. He's hiding like from total recall. He's hiding a baby attached to his fucking head. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe he does just have like a fucking large brain and that's like what got him so far in the videos and stuff because he could just learn man. everything in like two seconds. He did have a Facebook profile picture for a while where he had all his hair. Do you remember that? Yeah, it with was the blue straightened. background. Yeah. 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 It looks weird. Don't do that. No, just put a beanie <laughs> on. Put a beanie on, bro. Come on. <laughs> Seriously. Hair looks weird. Yeah, no, we, we just locked in uh, a date to do a video with him. Yeah. So, um, what date? Two weeks. Two weeks from now. Time. Nice. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, because you're doing the drums. I better it? get fucking learning then, eh? You haven't learned it yet? Shit. Oh, bro. I'm doing a drum. This is bro. actually the first time that I've been fucking... Yeah, I haven't said it. Yeah, let's actually talk about something else. Sorry for a second. Uh, <laughs> no, please so, go ahead. So before, I was moving house yesterday, and uh, oh, randomly, geez, in Christ. the middle of the fucking day, uh, Zane goes, so you're good for tomorrow? And I was like, uh, thinking like saying something about tomorrow, you reckon I'll be done moving or some shit? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. And then he's like, yeah, yeah. You're talking about this? For the podcast. And I was like, what are you talking about? Mm. And he's like, oh, Jake said you'd be able to do uh, the podcast tomorrow. Do I never, to- no, I didn't. When did I say that? You said that it was all good in the f- to him, I think, or to me, I've forgotten. To me. But yeah, to him. When? Yeah. That well, I think this good. has been a misunderstanding. This has been a, this has been a mis- <laughs> Wait, what are you on about? Basically, we all thought that you'd already discussed the time with Bo. And no, when I brought it up, Bo was not like, my podcast. Bo was your like, job. Bo was like, "What?" <laughs> so, no, it's alright. I was always, no, I was I, but I think the I think the real problem here about about what happened yesterday was um, 
all Bo's friends helped him move house, and oh, yeah. Jake just, all two. Jake all two just uh, cruised on past yeah. in his fucking work van. Yeah. Did ya? Cold and dry in hand, went straight <laughs> home. Sorry, cunt. I literally <laughs> forgot. I like the day before. I was like, yeah, man, I'll, I'll help you move. I'll be there. It was about what five o'clock, and I was wrecked drunk. And I, <laughs> I told and you, I, I told I you, Jake would do this. Hey, like, like, yeah. he, he wouldn't rock up until about five o'clock when he knew that shit beers were on tap. He's like, oh, yeah, cool. Sorry I didn't help you, but I'll help you drink the beers. No, Emu Export is hey. a terrible beer. Hey, Jay. No, I actually talk, didn't talk drink Emu. I actually mic, bought hey? When you talk, it's talking to the mic, man. All right, okay, so, okay. Yeah, just pull the Sorry. stand a bit closer, man. Yeah, that's it. No, we didn't actually get Export. Yeah, fuck you. Bo What'd you end up a, getting? He's a serial uh, Export he drinker. Is. He is. He yeah. certainly is. Yeah. Speaking of fucking Export, <laughs> the last time I bought a fucking block of Export, it was $31. Yeah. I found out yesterday. That's really good. 50 bucks yeah. is like the lowest price yeah. you can it's pay. It came, oh, when was the last cool. time you bought one? It became cool. Probably yeah, three yeah. or four years Apparently. ago. Apparently. Supply and demand, man. That's what, what? happened. What? Actually, that's no, probably a ridiculous markup. It's because dive bars started oh, yeah. selling them for, and, it, and it became cool. I went, I, went cool. After, I had some chicken dinner at some <laughs> shitty ass place up near our old place, and it was nine bucks for a can. Of no. Nine dollars. For a can of export. Yeah. That doesn't seem... That's actually ridiculous. That's extortion. Name and that doesn't sit well shame. with me. <laughs> yeah. doesn't okay. sit well it with was, me. No. Um, I'm going to write a letter. A very angry letter. <laughs> it was that uh, uh, meat candy. Nine oh, bucks the, Yeah, the, um, the fried can. chicken Meat place. candy. Yeah. Oh, because Nine it's like, a, a, it's like a boutique. Yeah. Being poor are you sure cool, it's not like are you sure you didn't get a long neck and you were just completely fucked and you're like yeah this is a can possible <laughs> like are you <laughs> sure it was I wish they gave me no it was a tinny fucking hell man I, I get it yeah. paying nine bucks for an imported beer or you know Surrendered. what something nice yeah yeah, <laughs> not yeah. something brewed in fucking Adelaide you yeah. can get a you can get in a pint of carton dry pint of carton dry for nine dollars I love that you place. shredded that label too <laughs> yeah I know I've been picking at it eh when man yeah. you know speaking of beer prices your mate Josh, your mate, um, Steve-O, who came over for Christmas, yep. I think it was, was saying um, you can buy a six-pack of VB in Britain. Was it him? Or uh, uh, maybe. someone else? Yeah, it was some, someone I know who lives in England was saying that you can buy a six-pack of VB for like seven pounds. Seven even, pounds? That's like $14. Even if, what, you, 13? Even well, if you convert it to back to Aussie dollars, it's still cheaper to buy VB on the other side of the world than it is to buy it in Victoria. That makes sense. Yeah, what, how much is it true. in Victoria? Oh, they're like 18 bucks, somewhere, like that, somewhere around there for a six pack. That's what it was in Liquorland yesterday. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. I guarantee you it's not cheaper. Than so it's fucking cheaper that. to buy it on the other side of the world. It's our, our beer <laughs> fucking tax and shit is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, and they're putting it up again. Are they? So, yeah, to try and stop fucking binge drinking. Yeah. So I saw it on the news fucking a few uh, weeks ago. They they're, not do, it's they're not doing it. They want to do it. They're the not going to actually do it. Said they don't, Good, not don't do it. Is that for beer though? Because last time they only did um yeah it's for uh, beer. yes yeah. well they did um like cruises and stuff like that didn't they lolly drinks yeah I remember yeah, when they did it and uh, I was like oh this will help some yeah. people drinking sugar tax, cruises yeah. they're not just gonna buy goon and passion pop now yeah. you yeah. fucking idiots <laughs> yeah it shows you how out of touch they are like yeah, yeah. And, no. and not even that like if alcohol gets too expensive people just get pingers yeah it's not uh, they just go for what's cheaper yeah it's, you yeah. can have one pinger for twenty five bucks and be fucked for four hours. <laughs> Or you can spend a hundred bucks at the bar, and oh, you, you if know, you want on a, on a night sometimes. out, if you were to start well, at say like three in the Arvo, and you go all day, all night, you can look at three hundred dollars easy, easily easy, yeah. at a bar. It's ridiculous, eh? And then they get like they're on TV. I was watching this fucking thing on ABC like it was about a year ago, and all these fucking politicians were like, we just can't understand why young people feel the need to get drunk before they go out. Because oh. it's too expensive. Because you're paying us fuck all. <laughs> Everything's expensive as fuck. Yeah. And a beer costs fucking $12 for a schooner oh. in some places. But it gets to the point, too, where people, you know, don't go out for that long. I, every time yeah. when yeah. you've been to Sweden and that, they all go out quite late. Just because yeah, of the, that. Oh, the, yeah, they did, didn't they? Everyone will have a house by and then just go out for a couple yeah. hours. They got to like time. nine o'clock or something. Like, and we were like, are we going to leave anytime soon? Yeah, it's because of the prices. Yeah. Well, it's not that much more than here, but it's pretty, like... And I heard... I have a friends in Norway, too. Most of them are like, yeah, we don't even go out. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. We just, well, they're all, they were all students and stuff, weren't they? Uh, no, one of my... Oh, not those boys. It was one of my other mates. We did the same in Kalgoorlie, man. It was... Uh, and, like, we were making Kalgoorlie money. It's like mining money. It's pretty good, good money. money. Um, but we would go out at, like, 11 o'clock. 
But what time do places close though? Two. But like in Kalgoorlie, it's gonna man, be enough. In Kalgoorlie, so if you went to the pub before ten, a, a Jack's Jack's Jack Daniel Stubby, that's what I used to drink. Nice. Because I was a degenerate. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> would be twelve bucks before ten. And then yeah. after 10, they're 15. And then after midnight, they're 17. Holy fuck, man. Well, so you can't adjust your prices. You're paying 17 bucks what for a Jack Stubby. What the fuck? fuck? How long ago was that? Is That That was when I was 18. Well, actually, uh, I was 17. Mm. Yeah. You're paying $17 for... Is that fucking normal? I don't know. That's I don't ridiculous. drink Jacks because I'm not an no, asshole. No, that's not but fucking that's normal. That's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink Jacks because I'm not an asshole. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey. You're drinking a cold and dry right now. Yeah, because like yeah, you're in the fridge and it's not too bad. It's fucking relax. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. See? That's terrible. No, you actually, I'm, I don't mind it. That, no, it's gross. No. If you drink cold and dry, fuck you. You know Thank what? You. I'm hold torn. On. Thank hold you. On. I'm actually hold torn on. because I like cold and dry more than I like Nothing's export. right, I'm torn. <laughs> <laughs> so many things. Nailed it. Nailed it. So many it. things. <laughs> That's it. Get out. Um, I actually have photographic evidence of you drinking Max Dry, which is even worse. At Dyer's uh, birthday. Ew. Yeah. yeah. It's even worse. Oh, so yeah. Well, say shit. I had a gun to my head, mate. What was I meant to do? No, you didn't. You just didn't have your own alcohol. It's like you look at the photos closer. He actually does yeah. have a gun. <laughs> I'm down, like, try, try, try. Well, when you're an try alcoholic and there's no alcohol, that essentially yeah. is a gun to your head. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about that. Yeah, it was even. Rumors. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. Josh, so. Got a drinking problem, oh, mate? Well, got a drinking problem? Uh, no. <laughs> Good. Okay. Hey. When was the last time you went a day without a beer? Yesterday. He's lying. <laughs> I did. I did. I went he's a whole... sweating. Look at him. <laughs> no, I was going to go the whole week, fucking weekend without doing it uh, because we're doing vocals tomorrow and the state of my voice is AIDS. Uh, <laughs> and he rolls in with beers. We have to drink them for this podcast, which, I mean, it's not... It's not a terrible. punishment, <laughs> but per se, then yeah. I get called out for being an alcoholic. I seem feel like I've been fucking set up here. So. Yeah. Well, so you just admitted yourself it's been six months since you went a day without a beer. When did I say that? Just before. Yeah, I heard it. Wow, you're so drunk you don't even remember what you've said. Fucking hell, I feel <laughs> like I'm being attacked here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for I'm you. I'm a victim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm a victim of alcohol and abusive friends. <laughs> <laughs> alcohol shaming in my friends' accounts. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you have to go, Jay? Uh, in about... 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. Man, go shit. to the hot tub time machine. Yeah. Hot it? tub time machine? Hot tub. <laughs> Well, I'm interested. I think before you go, we should talk about the new uh, plot in you album. Because I know you're oh, a big stop fan. Stop it! A big like, fan is to. I was trying to, to remember. Say, like that's just not. You can't say how big a fan I am. I was trying to remember, man. Remember <laughs> we played with the plot in you with reflections. Do you remember that? I don't know because we've t we've spoken about this, and I don't remember when you did that. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which where album what to where it was, was it at. It was at the Rosemount. At the Rosemount. And it was. It was not. It was not a great turnout. Um, I don't remember that you. at all. But then after that, they kind of took off and got yeah. quite big. Yeah, I mean, we were meant to play with them when we supported Make Them Suffer, and they didn't end up rocking up to Perth. Oh, that's and right. I was absolutely gutted. But I was I got, I had food poisoning. Remember that Make Them Suffer show, and I was lying in my car until we played, uh, and then all my, yeah, and yeah. I was throwing up into a hat on stage. Yeah, that was, that cool. was pretty sweet. That's so even metal, if they actually. had come, I wouldn't have been. It able was to hot see as them. fucking. Yeah. Oh, it was disgusting. Yeah. I like the dedication. But, That's pretty bad. Oh yeah, Throwing it was wicked. I was like, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> we all had a great time, Jake and yeah. the hand. When was that? That was last year. Right? That nah, that was a year before. Oh, was it? So it was two ages ago. Yeah, yeah January. Like the we're fucking old. We're not as old as Josh. Yeah, no, nah, no one's as old as George. You should see his fucking <laughs> saggy ass <laughs> elephant ear balls. Oh, Are all... the ones in the back of my throat or the ones in the throat? <laughs> uh, you just admit to having balls in the back of your throat. I oh, know, we talked about this. It's other... polyps. My, I mean, polyps. My <laughs> tonsils. Uh, uh, we talked about My tonsils are that big. They're another set of balls. Oh, <laughs> hot. Hot. Dude, don't be ashamed about having balls in your throat. It's fine, man. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, dude. <laughs> It's quite, <laughs> it's quite cool, dude. <laughs> it's quite cool. That would have been um, the that single that Make Them Suffer put out, eh? That would yeah. have been that tour. Yeah. It was yeah. for Old Souls. Old Souls, yeah. Oh, that, that was cool. a great album. Hmm. Yeah, but the new, new album's new. amazing as well. Yeah, the right. newest album's amazing yeah. as well. well. That's getting a lot of heat, actually. People what, Make Them Suffer? Yeah, that newest album, people are... Well, I don't know if a lot, but I've seen a few fucking people roasting it online. Yeah, well, I like. Picture what they came, what, what they were, 
Essentially, into what they are now. Symphonic yeah. deathcore yeah, yeah, yeah. So Those you get like deathcore fans, eh? Hey? They're not yeah, very... They're all like, oh, what? There's no blast beats? Fuck this band. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, oh, it's yeah. almost like okay. a band would change over eight years, but you know. No shit. It's crazy. <laughs> so that's Plotting New's new album too. That's oh. a complete departure from their old sound. But well, I'll admit it. I listened to it yesterday. Like, oh. it, was, it was like eight in the morning. I listened to it and I absolutely hated it. Really? I, I, yeah, I, I messaged me and I was like, seriously, this is the biggest letdown ever. I listened to it about six times yesterday and I love it now. Man, it's, just, it's growing the on me. The dude's got a voice on him. Oh, yeah. man. Like, there's Landon's pl- ridiculous. There's parts where he's like whispering and stuff. Like, yeah. He has honestly one of the best voices I've yeah. heard in a fucking the one time. thing I, The one thing I wish the album had is how he does his like, um, in um, Happiness and Self Destruction, he would do like a, and the one before that as well, he does really like psychotic whispering kind of things yeah. like you can tell he's really angry like it, it sounds like he's super angry he doesn't, and he doesn't do it in that he that, that was more the one in thing. A emotional way in this yeah it's way it's more i like that though that album is depressing yeah. as I, sh- I listened to it and i was like this is right up josh's alley yeah, yeah i yeah. like what yeah. the fuck did they not put that feel nothing song like hey what are you doing <laughs> like <laughs> what do you mean that that they dropped this obviously it, it, they had it as a standalone sing- single but i'm dead sure that they had that on like on the pre-release for the album, then they took it away. What do you mean? It's on the album? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Feel nothing's yes, not. Yes, it nothing. is. Is no. that the single? I'll that put, had I'll put the a piano? thousand dollars. I've, been on list- it. I've listened to it today. Let's have. I a know look. it is. It's the third song. It's it, not. Is that the single that had the piano at the start? Yeah, feel, it's, that's feel, one last time. No, nah, man. Feel nothing's on there. I'm looking at it. Yeah, shows. Hundreds. It's oh, it's on not on iTunes. Ah, Apple Music got a different version. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh totally my god! Not. Did you, you alle- did you illegally download nah, the album? album? Have you got I? I nah, got Spotify. Oh, it must be a Spotify. What's the go with that? That's what the fuck are they doing? No, nah, because uh-huh. um, even when you, if you were to actually buy the album, it's on the. It was on, yeah, yeah, but it on was the on there. It was on there like as a pre-release. I wonder if they know that, that was the single. That's like, weird. Feel nothing, right? Yeah, that's, it was. Yeah, yeah. With yeah, all the piano and yep. shit. Yeah, that is like that's such an epic song. That is yeah, that's and was, really weird. Yes, it's not on there. Well, it's not on the one I got. Yeah. iTunes, sort it out. Plot in you, sort it so- out. Yeah, sort it out. Maybe there's a, maybe they're starting to do like Spotify exclusives or iTunes exclusives as they try and fucking fight for who's going to survive. Oh, that'd be so AIDS. Hey, we just want a place where we can pay for music and get the fucking music. Get the music, yeah. 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 It's like, not Netflix. Hey, every other brand. Fuck off, and we'll just have <laughs> Hey, Hulu, no one gives a fuck. Stan, right? fuck off. We don't want you, Stan. Yeah, and also Spotify. Fuck no, off. No, 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 no. Well, iTunes like can fuck off. Spotify yeah, you know, is perfect. You're wrong. N- no, you're wrong. Um, um, 100%. Let's be well, fair, they're both exactly the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> well, in this case, uh iTunes dropped the ball there. Yeah, yeah they, they really have. did. I they? did see... If anyone from iTunes like, is listening, you've dropped the ball. Out. Before okay. it came out, I did see they posted and were like, download or pay for the pre-release. And, you get, and you get that song. Yeah. Maybe it's something like that, like an exclusive thing. But Safe. I'm like, hey, I've heard the song a thousand times. <laughs> it's not yeah. the first, it's six not the months first ago. band to do it, though. There's been other ones where they come with bonus tracks yeah. for yeah. Japan and Australia, yeah. but nowhere yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my Trivium did that on silence. Didn't they? You're welcome. Trivium did that. With yeah, Trivium have done it. That's the last one I thought yeah. of. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I really liked that new Trivium album. I never listened to it. No one. comment. Just... <laughs> Where's Ascendancy, man? Where's all those riffs? Where's all those like, There's crazy riffs on that new one, but with um, good songwriting. You should try and fight them. Meet them, meet them <laughs> in an alley somewhere and bash them. No, Matthew was the one like that got me to hell. Like, crazy hey, riffs, man. Matthew. Don't, don't say really Matthew like you're friends with him. I, I am friends with him. I, if you're listening to this, Matthew, Matthew, come to my house. Let's jam. No, but yeah, he's like, uh, yeah, they did the same thing with all the Japan thing or whatever else. And then like, it ended up being like a hell banger of a song. I was like, what the fuck? Why isn't this on the... Yeah. yeah. They did that with Shogun, I think. Hey? Yeah, Shogun, yeah. yeah. Suicide Silence did it as well with the last album, but uh, I don't think... How good was that last was album? <laughs> what? They had an album that last... Did they put one out? Nah. No, I don't think. No. Pretty sure it was it, some other Deftones cover band. Or something. <laughs> that, that album got torn to shreds. I eh? cover it. <laughs> hey, Suicide Silence, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> I actually doing didn't that. hate it. That How much, good was though. the cleansing though? That was the best album. 
Uh, yeah, I don't see. I'm. I'd like I'm, to be cleansed. I'm not balls that deep last though. <laughs> yeah, I need to. No. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, cool. Yeah, take a shower every time you listen to it. <laughs> just, you're yeah, just Listerine, just like. <laughs> <laughs> you're just naked as a bunch of dudes in hazmat suits scrubbing you down. <laughs> oh, he must have heard the new suicide. <laughs> 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 Oh, Sounds God. like Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, Don't hate on Michael Jackson. I'm offended that you would uh, compare him to that, to be honest. <laughs> he never touched anyone either. I agree uh, with that. Because Drew, Drew's no like the ah, Michael Jackson touched kids. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Drew, you're wrong. He did no, come up no twice proof. now. <laughs> Michael Jackson <laughs> assaulting <laughs> kids. <laughs> no proof. No proof. This is what we're talking about the other time. You can't just assume shit because there was allegations. Yeah, Josh is like, I think you're all kind of missing the point of what we're trying to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> May have had one or two beers. Yeah. One or two, <laughs> not too enough. many. Have you got to go, Joe? Yeah. yeah. Go to cruise. All right, we'll hit pause. We'll, it's been uh, fun. Take a couple one, two hot pisses and get some more beers um, and we'll come back. <laughs> to Say goodbye to this piece of <laughs> shit here. Thanks for coming on, man. Appreciate it. No worries. Yeah, next anytime. time we'll get to do a bit longer. Also, I wish, yeah, I wish we had more time. Trying to, so trying maybe next time, time don't leave it like three time. days before we do it. Maybe next anything. time, don't leave it until like right now, where you're just telling me what you're going to be drumming for, like the dark. Thanks. Oh <laughs> shit! And we're oh. back. Wait, and now you're going to leave us alone? This is going to be awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit! You can just fucking rag on me the whole time. Uh, what? Jake's gone. Good. Yeah, just... Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Think fuck. Yeah, so we are back without Jake. Minus one, but really it's like minus ten having that cunt gone. <laughs> the world is off my shoulders. Elephant but, in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we could uh, get into a bit of a bit of beer talk before we uh, move on. We're just discussing this uh, this beer we've got here, the Hawkers XPA. What do you reckon, Josh? Um, it's not bad for an XPA. I. There's better XPAs out there, but you were saying it's 20 bucks for a six-pack, not a bad price. Um, it's pretty good, I think. Not, yeah, nothing to write home about. I'd probably prefer the v, the Nail VPA or the... Uh, what's the one down set? Black's Brewing. I think their XPA is a little better, but that's definitely drinkable. I haven't had the Black's Brewing. Um, I don't actually think I've tried Black's Brewing at all. Matt, their beer is a top notch. We that the, that's the beer that was right near where we stayed, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, you didn't go, did you? No, nah, I no. didn't. I I didn't get around to. It. I was too fucking hungover every day. Oh, what was this? Is this um New Year's? Yeah, yeah there was yeah. that Blacks Brewing was literally yeah. across the street. Yeah, yeah. But we'll we'll do a review one time on Blacks. We'll get a couple of theirs. But what are your thoughts, Zane? I I, I liked it. Uh, well, yeah, like I said earlier, I fucking hated it to start with. I thought it was <laughs> really really dry. But uh, once I got into it, I think I just had the bottom of the can for my first swig. Yeah. But um, once I got into it, it's pretty good. I don't mind it. It's, uh, it's, got, it's a little bit like fruity. It's got some fruity, but very subtle. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't mind it. And, you know, 20 bucks for a Australian brewed craft beer. For yeah, a six dude. pack is pretty good. It's easy to yeah. drink, eh? Yeah, it's fruity. Yeah. It's not super beery. It doesn't... Yeah, it's it's a classic XBA, really. I tastes like a lot of them so oh, sorry my microphone's been a right dog yeah so uh, what are you drinking over there Bo uh it's just a little creatures pale ale it's like the safe bet beers if you don't the safe you, bet yeah yeah if you want to pretend that you're into craft beers yeah I drink little <laughs> creatures and be a wanker but like not actually know anything about fucking craft beers well uh, Jake sick. Jake would he'd say that's the go to I don't even want that on the drunk. fucking table <laughs> I'd kick that across the room if I didn't respect this place enough <laughs> no no you're right though I remember uh, thinking that Little Creatures was like the pinnacle of craft beer yeah about five years ago yeah when you didn't know fuck all you're like oh, well okay. I still know fuck all about yeah. beer <laughs> We oh, just, right, I nice. just ride off his coattails. <laughs> yeah. I, I literally go to the bottle shop and ring him and ask him what to get. <laughs> well, that was like yesterday. We were look, looking for fucking beers to buy because I promised these guys, um, whoever helped, I was going to get buy them shit beers. And the meme was going to be that I was going to get like EMEA exports and make every single one of them drink at least three of them before they left. <laughs> Otherwise, I would unfriend you from everything. You fucking block <laughs> all <life>. communications. <laughs> yeah. Get a restraining order at everyone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I ended up like feeling hell bad because these guys like helped to feel like fucking 
like a good what seven eight hours or something stupid like that nah, it wasn't that long it wasn't, wasn't it? even that bad no it was only i think i got there at 10 30 okay i'm just hell unfit uh <laughs> um fucking my muscles okay uh but yeah, you've got some heavy ass fucking furniture you've yeah got. i know i know you it's, know what i actually only helped you so that you would owe me one so i'm gonna call in that favor when you least expect it i would have already done it but okay Th- this works better <laughs> so now yeah <laughs> don't, don't get it twisted we're not friends yeah okay cool <laughs> <laughs> thank you um, thank you but yeah i, I bought like uh, all these guys was like yeah choose your own beers and we're talking to the liquor land they had the shittest selection of just all these fucking it was a joke eh? yeah I've yeah, yeah. never seen anything so like wonderful. it's got craft it's beers a, on the, t- on the thing, but it's like it got fucking what is it like Carlton Draft and shit like that on the bottom was, shelf. You're no, like, no, no. Fuck? They actually had Max Blonde in their craft yeah. air oh, quotes. I'm doing yeah. it's air a, quotes. It's a chook pen, and the like craft <laughs> beer section's actually a bucket of chook. It's just <laughs> one chicken in there that can't lay eggs and shits all over itself. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, oh, right. but they had they had like it's probably twelve fridges along that wall. Yeah, and they had. Literally 11 fridges, and it was just full of like Corona, dog shit. cult and dry, yeah. you know. Or oh, not dog shit. I, like, I'd still drink all that stuff, but it's like when, when yeah. you expect like to go somewhere and, and buy like a good beer. Like, yeah. Well, it's a bottle shop. Like, yeah. the, the whole point of a bottle shop is to carry yeah. alcohol that people want to buy. Yeah. And you've completely missed half the beer market by <laughs> yeah, not yeah. having craft beers yeah. in your fucking well, it's shop. gotten to the point now where everyone likes drinking different types of beer. There's yeah. so many out there you can drink. It's like everyone's into cuisine, aren't yeah, they? Not yeah. like everyone likes to have a nice meal. Yeah, yeah. Don't just like to go and eat McDonald's every fucking time. So, why yeah, would like you I need like to... my game? Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll eat McDonald's every fucking time, <laughs> bro. If you are actually pretty close to this fucking place now, what? we had at Sam's house. We were writing some music one night, and this fucking guy ordered. Um, from Uber Eats from a place called Dogtown that, Beer Food. That place is in the city, I think, or Northbridge. I thought it was in Morley. No, nah, no, nah, it's in like uh, Northbridge or something. Well, yeah, what is it? Though? Well, anyway, I, it might deliver all the way up to you. Yeah. Dude, they have popcorn chicken there. If you think KFC is good, <laughs> go to Bunnings, <laughs> buy some rope. <laughs> Rickety chair. Because <laughs> this is next level. This is a joke, eh? Hey? Uh, like I, I go on Facebook like three hours later. It's just, uh, oh, by the way, buy a fucking no, rope. No, you got to <laughs> explain that. Yeah. Explain that. So we we were out one night um, and we were, uh, we were just being savages, all drunk, making horrendous jokes <laughs> about going to Bunnings and buying equipment to kill ourselves. <laughs> but self, saying the most stupid of shit. Just self-depreciation all yeah. night about wanting to die. And uh, Bo gets home. Oh no, it was the next day. Wasn't it was the it? next yeah. day. I was hungover. I woke up and uh, yeah, had had something to eat. Went on my computer and then Facebook had all these fucking ads about Bunnings and like fucking a rope was up. Like, what the fuck? Normally these are hell like accurate. And then I remember like uh, kind of snapping out of that hungover kind of like you can't think. I'm like Jesus Christ, is it actually listening to me? Is last night that was like the the ongoing joke and it was said about like fucking <laughs> like four hours straight. So it was like all normie and stuff like that. And it was just like it, no matter who I went to, it was like, <laughs> that was the real thing and then yeah just see it on facebook i was like are you fucking serious yeah. like not only is like, all my friends name is facebook is now this this ad is applicable to yourself kill yourself <laughs> it's crazy yeah, yeah that's, it's, it's obviously monitoring your microphone yeah 100 100 i had one. Oh, really yeah yeah, yeah they do 100 uh, okay so the next time that you um like if you go out or something like that and there's like a recurring thing that you're talking about i don't know like if you get a dog or something you start talking about dog pens or some shit or like you've knocked up La and she's all of a sudden pregnant. You start talking about fucking like kids and stuff or whatever else. It never happened. <laughs> but like it'll end up on your on your Facebook. Like really? it's, yeah, yeah. Fuck I sound like, like, a, like real life cookies now. Yep. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it, uh, it yeah, accesses your microphone. Yeah. Yeah. It asks you if it can. Facebook asks you. If Not it on iPhone. Mic- so if you've got no, an no, iPhone. it does. On, it does on iPhone. When you first does install it? Facebook, it asks you if Facebook can access your microphone. Oh fuck. Yeah. But it disguises it as if it needs to access it to record video audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. yeah, that's what it is. I have, well, I have I'm w- going to prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I had one instance that actually freaked me out a bit because I was in the kitchen with my mum. Uh, I forget what we were talking about. It was something obscure. Uh, Might have been buying weights or something for my dad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was something obscure and I, neither of us had our phones on us. Yeah. We're in the kitchen and I don't have a smart TV or really anything with a microphone <laughs> in it. And yeah. 
my phone was in my bedroom. My computer's near the bedroom. It's yeah. like the other end of the house. Yeah. And so we're talking about whatever it was. Say, let's just go wait. And I went back to my computer uh, about an hour later. And same thing on Facebook, ads for weights, like yeah. Gumtree ads for weights. And I was like, I under- I know your phone listens, yeah. but what the fuck in my house yeah, is listening? Yeah, <laughs> is yeah. my microwave spying yeah, on me? Yeah, is my fucking... Should I stop r- walking around butt naked? <laughs> yeah. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> fucking hell. So if you just say anything, it'll start coming up there. Some, yes. Uh, butt plugs. <laughs> butt plugs. <laughs> butt plugs. <laughs> Screaming butt plugs into your phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure not. way to get locked up yeah. in an asylum. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up. Yeah. But then, I wanted, then every ad will just be a big black butt plug from now on. I'll be like, ah. Oh. Oh, that oh, that's pretty sick, sick to be honest like yeah <laughs> <laughs> would you rather see adverts of shit that like, yeah, it's kind of like oh uh, yeah or just like butt plugs that's funny as fuck like <laughs> that's I an adventure down. going on your phone every time right like hey look at this butt plug yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, they're selling it FBI bunnings. guy monitoring us add that to my list <laughs> yeah <laughs> bunnings new range of butt plugs <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so what did you think of the show? We, uh, Me and Bo went to, we were talking about this in a couple of oh, episodes, yeah. that this was going to be like yeah. the show of the year. Fucking uh, Thy Art headlining uh, with a Muir fit for an autopsy and Justice for the Dam, which yeah. are a band from Sydney. Uh, what did you think of the show, man? What do you think of the new Rosemount? Oh, man, like new Rosemount, that blast, say, hey, like a fit for an autopsy, that like, pretty much just kicked me in the dick as soon as I walked in. Because like, you'd never heard them before, had you? I, yeah, really yeah awesome. I, I, I wasn't like an avid listener or anything. Like, I don't have any of the albums or anything like that. But, yeah, going in there and just like the double kicks and stuff. And like, it was pretty much to, towards the end. But um, yeah, just fucking everything was just crystal well, you, clear. You would have like, seen, you would have heard Black Mammoth if you came at the end. That's the last song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has the triple kicks at the end. Is that, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's one of their, that's, that's like the, one of their banger songs. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to see that. Kicks me they, in the chest. They man. opened with, for, for anyone who knows Fit for an Autopsy, they opened with Hydra, which is the first song on their um, newest album. And it's just, dude, that dude, the guy heavy. is such a good vocalist. And he was even doing those weird, on the album, he has it's almost like pitch yelling, would you say? Like during the Black Mammoth chorus? I don't know. They it's they definitely have cleans behind it, I think. Yeah, well he was actually doing it live, uh just with no backing track or anything. He was actually doing it. Did it have the cleans? Yeah, he was doing the yeah. cleans live, yeah. 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 And it was interesting. It was kind of I think it's a Gojira thing. I think they're the ones that kind of started doing that. Um, but yeah, it was interesting to see him do it live. He fucking did really well. Like yeah, nailed he nails it. it. Yeah, pretty yeah. sure In Flames used to do that as well. Oh yeah, I think you're right. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I do remember that. But yeah, I actually went out to the beer garden um, during Emua. I think because yeah. they played next. Yeah. Um, just for the last song, I had to pee so bad, so I shot out to the toilet. And as I was going back in, um, he was there. The vocalist was there, so yeah. I managed to get a photo with him. He was. Fucking smoking weed out Suck of the beer garden. <laughs> Dick. Legend. Yeah, yeah. I managed I, to get a quick gobby with him. I uh, did, yeah. Touched his giant balls. Um, no, he was out there, out, there sm- <laughs> out there smoking weed just in the fucking beer garden. Just yeah. Forgot to give, forgot where he was, I suppose, because it's legal probably where he was. Yeah, from. yeah. But they're American, so. Yeah, I know they're American, but. I'm not sure exactly. Isn't it legal over there, isn't it? Or some shit? Yeah, in some places. Yeah. Not Most places. I don't man. think it's yeah. federally legal yet, is it? No, California made it legal this year. Yeah. Technically, the federal government can still come in and arrest people over there. America's so fucking weird how states make... It's like if in Australia, you know, WA had a totally different set of rules to everywhere yeah. else. That's what it's like we in America. Do, yeah, yeah, we do in a little bit. Like not in, as in dramatic, small though. sense. It's not as dramatic, though. Eh? Like, there's I've heard stories about like people in Seattle getting done for street drinking because in Seattle you can drink on the street and then they do it somewhere else and they don't even think about it. Like there's, there's no, you can't drink in it, Seattle. It might not be Seattle then. I, yeah, I can't. You can in it like is. some Miami, uh, Nashville. There's a like certain place that you can. Yeah, right. It's just interesting to me that you know essentially weed is legal there just the federal government doesn't recognize it but at the same time the federal do- government doesn't go in and prosecute anyone yeah. for it either isn't there's a place in australia over east that i can't remember the name some shit tip hippie town in uh, the mountain. adelaide is that adelaide <laughs> 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 no but it's uh, um they have i can't remember the name but they're apparently you can just buy up weed everywhere and everyone smokes <laughs> weed have you heard of it or is it some no. sort of synthetic stuff 
No, oh. it's like, I can't remember the name of it. Fuck, I've been told about it heaps. Sounds awesome. If you're listening and you live there, hit us up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested. Yeah, let us know if this is true. I wish I could remember the name of it, but there's yeah, some small town and people go there. It's quite a well-known place. People yeah, go well, they just um, legalise those uh, cannabis pills, I think they are, for uh, people, you know, like people with epilepsy and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they finally oh. made those legal at the start of last year, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, still a while away from... Um, well, medical marijuana is legal here. Actual yeah. medical marijuana, yeah, like w. smoking it. Really? You sure? Yeah, November 2016, I think. Really? But you got to get it yeah. from from a pharmacist, and I think it's really hard to get because um, your your partner Josh Bo, yeah, um, his nana has a medical condition where her doctor said that she would be the first on the list uh, when it gets made legal. So I don't know if that's come through or what. Yeah, well, yeah, supposedly I hope so. I've. Well, I've got a herniated disc. I need some <laughs> yeah, marijuana. I need, yeah, yeah. I need some marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, my back's a bit sore. I need a few yeah. lines of Charlie. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't work that way. Fuck. That's not how it works. Not no, works. If anyone <laughs> fucking deserves bullshit. anything, it'll be definitely Josh's nana. She's fucking, she's amazing. Yeah, she's she seems really nice, man. Yeah. They have a cool relationship, eh? They just roast each other. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, really funny. it's, it's hell funny. Eh? Every time I go over there, they're just like fucking roasting each other. Like, they're just like they're pulling the piss out of it. Well, he was like giving her shit. And I was like, dude, she's like, she's old and she's making us lunch and she's helping you move. Yeah. And then before I could even say anything to her, to him, she'd already opened her mouth and just fed it right back to yeah, him. And I was like, yeah. ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like, they, they say the most fucking wretched shit to each other. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, can I, can I get you something? Can I like, do you, do you want some lunch? Do you want this? Do you want that? Yeah. Fuck off, Josh. Do you want this? Do you want this? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah she's really fucking cool, legend. Like. I love it a bit, so. It's like that grandma of Don't Be a Menace to South Central. <laughs> and he just uppercuts. He's like, you still hit like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. Uh, yeah. Well, shall we do some current events? Hunting events, right? There's a got a few good ones. Do you want to start? Week? I think oh, you. I think you've been pretty excited all week about these. Actually, there's a lot of happenings this week. I think a couple one two happenings. Yeah, I'll do this first one. This uh, the one you've got at the top. I reckon that that's pretty good. Fuck, I'm getting these emails coming through. All right, oh. hang on. It did pop up now. Yeah. All right. So the first one. Yeah, that this actually popped up twice this week. You yeah. boys probably saw it. I didn't actually, so I'm I'm interested to hear. About oh, didn't it. you see? Yeah. So there's uh, there's a guy that pop, that reckons one of them says he's from uh twenty twenty one eighteen. He says he's a time traveler. Did so you say hundred years but, in the future? Yeah. So he he said he's from twenty one um twenty one eighteen, and he's from the eighties. And <laughs> wait, wait, he's from the eighties, but he's from twenty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah so he got sent there in the eighties, and he's uh, come right. back here for some reason. Right, eh? and he's and they did the lie detector test. To, I think I'm still fun. confused. He was born in the eighties, and he was sent for. No, he was in sent yeah. in the eighties to twenty one eighteen. So how did he get back here? The time travel, you know, and then he's talking about, and he holds up a photo of the the so, city. He's got this futuristic city. So he's, he's saying that someone in the eighties invented time travel and sent him forward. Yep, and it only comes it comes to light. I can't okay. remember if I'm getting this. There's two guys. There's another guy that's saying the same thing, and he's from twenty. Uh, what was it, twenty thirty two or something? He sounds like a flog. Yeah, <laughs> but this other guy, they actually did the light lie detector test on him, and yeah. and it came back as all true what he was saying. I'm a time traveler, yeah. which he could just be a sociopath. There probably. is ways to yeah, there is ways to beat that. So psychopaths, sociopaths, they can beat those easily. Yeah. But there's also but he held there's up, also other things though. If you're actually crazy and you believe what you're yeah, saying, yeah. you can pass Obvious. it. So that might be what's happening. Yeah. But I just thought it was funny that two in one week and this dude actually holds up a photo of this futuristic city. 
and he holds like you can see this phone. I was like, he's he's obviously a crazy cunt. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, it would have, like how's our two? To the, I suppose it always happens like yeah. that. It always comes out in twos, doesn't it? Was it just or, like some terribly photoshopped fucking <laughs> Sim City builder photo or some shit? It's not even. No, it's, it's, just, it's just paint and he's just drawing <laughs> shit. He's like, oh dude, that's so futuristic. What the fuck? Like, yeah, in the future, everything's shitty paint drawings. Yeah, by the way. yeah. yeah. <laughs> We went back so to the paint age. Board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> MS paint age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was fucking weird, though. And the dude looked weird. He looked like he'd fallen into a fire or something. <laughs> well, he's probably a crazy homeless guy. There you go. But what's interesting about that is if that guy is not lying, everyone's still going to think he's crazy anyway. Yeah. Even if he did come back from the future, uh, no one's going to fucking believe you. And yeah. everyone's just going to be like, you're a crazy asshole, get out of here. Yeah, and they, and they, he reckons he has physical proof and it's so convenient that he can't tell anyone because it'll cause a time paradox. Oh, hey, hey, cunt, okay. no one cares about fucking yeah. time paradoxes. <laughs> yeah. Cause one. I don't give a fuck. I'd way rather see the future. Yeah. <laughs> but what if you can't see the future? If the time paradox. What is what is he saying? Like, why is he coming out now and telling everybody about this? Oh, he does, I, I couldn't get through the whole video. I got bored, to be honest. But <laughs> so it was, there, there's it, some sort of message there, right? Like, there has to be, like, no, oh, by the way, you get fucked up over by some. He didn't say shit. Or some shit. He I, had no, like. Didn't he, he say that. He was saying, oh, at this date, we're going to find. Uh, this, we're going to find out that alien life is this, or the gut corporations are going to release it. You know, it's just all the uh, typical. That sounds like Star Trek. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens in Star Trek. You probably probably <laughs> saw the new Star Trek series. He's, been, he's just been watching Star Trek for the, all of his life, and he's just been let out of the room right now. So he's like, "Fuck!" Just <laughs> just being on mushrooms. Yeah, this is the guy Trek. here. Time traveler provides proof that he. Oh yeah, he looks him. fucking insane. Let's see. So, is, oh, is it the yeah. other guy that's going on about AI, or is it this guy? Uh, fuck, I'm getting them mixed up, because I read them both, and I can't remember. Yeah. Well, One it's of hard, them it's hard to the... differentiate between uh, more right. ones. <laughs> <laughs> There's such a selection of them these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, one of them actually comes, comes back and has a point to coming out with his fucking story about... Is it the AI one? Yeah, he, he's trying to it, tell here you. Here we go. Let's, I'll read out some of the things he said. Okay, good. When I was in the year 6,000, I managed to take a photograph of a major city. Oh, he was in the year 6,000. Okay. So is You're it, only a couple of thousand years off. Is that... Yeah. Is that I cannot say CD which city because it would lead to too much influential change on the future. But I can show you the photograph, and that's when he pulls out. I love it. They've always got to have the ancient aliens uh, guy. The, yeah, <laughs> the, the crazy alien dude yeah. with his hands up and the fucking crazy hair. If you've ever seen Ancient Aliens, I used to watch this a bit when I was younger because um, there's just some really nice footage of these old places. Obviously, the show is fucking absolutely insane. But that guy gets crazier and crazier every season yeah. he hair? gets more tanned and his <laughs> hair gets more crazier tanned. every yeah. season it's so good do you reckon he does he has oh, that yeah. hair on purpose yeah. to look like he stuck a fork in the fucking power point <laughs> 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 it does look like that man. <laughs> and he gets like the jersey shore tan and the white lips going and <laughs> shit just poorly <laughs> deep from hell. jersey shore <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> jesus yeah, so, so he reckons that uh, aliens do visit us. There's, they are intelligent extraterrestrials that do come to Earth. This is in the mid 21st century. Right. So this guy's gone what four thousand years into the future. Yeah, he reckons. But he reckons mid 21st century. So we'll find out in what 2050. See. Sounds like a crazy motherfucker to me. The other one seems more believable. Um, comes back and warns us about the the dangers of ai yeah the young guy because he reckons he's only gone 30 years into the future hey? oh my god okay See, so both of these guys have traveled in the future yeah yeah, yeah. Right. conveniently in the same week Seems, Conve oh that is yeah i don't have skeptical eyes at all i also have visited um, the future you do, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, well breaking news Bo <laughs> Bing has come back from the future <laughs> fucking hell so yeah what happened with his ai well he's just saying that ai is going to take over and we're all fucked, basically. I which believe is that. A, which is a, that's what I'm saying. That yeah. It's a sentiment that's been echoed by a lot of uh, Elon Musk is really worried about Bill yeah. Gates. Lots of he stuff. he was the one as well that said we we find out 
in 2022 or something that there's aliens and his timeline was a lot shorter but he's generally saying that same bullshit too yeah right but uh, hey elon musk has like weight to it though because he's like pretty much done fucking huge things just humanity in general he didn't ask for anything back it's just kind of like he's, yeah i'm just gonna do this he's, he's actual Fuck jesus you. like yeah he is he's Je- modern yeah, day scientific jesus 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. well he uh, let's let's pick the good point let's compare him to to <laughs> Jesus, well, Jesus Christ. Number Elon one. Elon Musk exists. Exists. <laughs> uh, two, uh, he's not a complete flog that watches you while you masturbate and gets butt hurt. Uh, Three, uh, he doesn't make him make himself sacrifice himself to himself to save us from himself. So that's a good that's a good <laughs> yeah, attribute. Yeah, you think too. you think you want to you're talking about causing paradoxes. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ is a paradox. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. No, I think like Elon Musk and Bill Gates, it's not and even Stephen Hawking, yeah. these people that are involved in like these big tech companies, yeah. uh, the fact that they're worried about AI is scary because they've probably seen some shit that no one else has. Yeah, like yeah. think about the AI and the Tesla that can drive that car around, yeah. stop at stop signs, let um people walk across yeah. the road. Uh, imagine what they've actually got in the pipeline if that's what they've already released. You know, wasn't it, I, I? I I don't know all the details and stuff. This is like kind of half skepticism, skepticism or whatever it is. Um, there wasn't there one point like this. Do this you mean robot? skepticism? That's the one. Or did you say skepticism? Yeah, well, you Skeptic fed me too chasm. much of these. Now um, <laughs> I fed you hey, too many. This my is what we creatures. warned about. <laughs> <laughs> first, you I'm get a like, strunk. First, like, you get a strunk. The podcast ends, and then there's the bedroom. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready. I um, came from the future to tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> AI is going to force you to do it, isn't it? AI is going to force you to. We're all s- fucked. Suck this. <laughs> suck this. Fat <laughs> dick. <laughs> I mean, it's not really forcing, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's this one like robot or whatever else. So uh, like this dude keeps asking like just um, really kind of questions to, to weird out the, what is it? One of the questions are like, um, like how do you know that you're sentient or some shit? Or like how do you oh, know? Oh, yeah. Like, and, the Turing test, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. And like the robot's just kind of like giving pretty standard, stock standard questions or whatever else. And I think like the whole point of the video is just gotta be like, oh, see, AI, AI is fine. Like it's not gonna fuck us up. It, it's cool. It's fine. I was like, hmm. So you're gonna put this video out like, like that that comes out from your company. No one else is just like, pretty much could just cut out anything or even just put program like that shit to say, yeah, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's like we're not gonna hurt you. It's cool. It's fine. Mm. Like, there's, there's a video of Joe Rogan talking to a um, a robot from I think it's about. 2012 i think it came out he had a show called joe rogan questions everything and it was pretty primitive but it was like the one of the first versions of that robot that saudi arabia just gave citizenship to have you seen that no i've never heard about that oh so it's a it's a female robot it's just um shoulders up basically it's just a head um but she passed the turing test in the way that if you talk to her uh you don't know she's a robot you won't be able to tell so oh. she, yeah, so she's quite interesting. She says some creepy shit actually that she wants to have a family and just ex- existential shit like what does it mean to be human? Am I yeah. human? Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking hell, it's going uh, so quickly. Hey, move. It's moving along. Yeah. so far. I just thought it was really interesting that uh, if you're a woman in Saudi Arabia, you can't drive a car, but a robot can be given a passport. So yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, what like an cool, interesting I mean, place. Terrible. It's like in the future, but still 2,000 <laughs> years in the past. So fucking backwards. <laughs> still, still wearing sandals, got talking robots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the next one we've got here. Hey, oh, this, this is a question on that. So, since she's a citizen, is she allowed to drive? Because she's a woman, female robot. Mm. I know that they've made driving, they've actually, women are allowed to drive. Good on you, Saudi Arabia. Pat on the back. Well fucking done. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to like a hundred years ago. I was just going to say, do you you think if they hadn't have uh, recently allowed women to drive in Saudi Arabia, that all the Teslas would have had to have women installed in them? All the self-driving Teslas? (laughs) (laughs) Uh. (laughs) They're just locking up all the Teslas. (laughs) <laughs> All right, so we've got here, uh, this is a sad one. Uh, there was a shooting in Florida. 
Uh, this fucking crazy asshole killed 17 people. Yeah. Which doesn't sound like a lot after the last one, which was Vegas. That yeah. was fucking... Kids cat. too, eh? Fucking yeah. piece of shit. But it's it's still one of the worst mass shootings in modern history. So, you know, we've got inside 12 months, two of the worst shootings of all time. Yeah. Um, I've actually got a picture here as well attached to this. You know what is, blows uh, my mind about that? Well, like, he purchased an AR-15 legally... Why? Why can you go and that's why can you go and buy that weapon legally? Uh, how old is he? Seventeen? Was he really seventeen? Well, how old was he? Was he older than that? But I even though he was a teenager, even if he was nineteen, why can you go and buy that fucking weapon? Legal? Because freedom. Yeah, like pistol, rifle, whatever. But he goes and buys an AR fifteen. Yeah, I think an AR fifteen technically falls into the category of a rifle because it's not an automatic. You can make it an automatic. Did he have an automatic? I don't know, but that that is some, what you just said there. You can make gun. So in America, you bucks. can buy a fucking rifle and then go to a gun show and yeah. buy an attachment for a rifle that makes it fully automatic. And those are not illegal. It's, the it's bump fucking yeah. insane. That's what yeah. that guy had. Yeah, yeah okay, you yeah. Know. It's, yeah. It's just crazy. What does it take to change the laws? Yeah. How many people have to die? They never will. I was thinking about this and I thought that it's so ingrained in their constitution. It's going to be hard to change it. And also, imagine if they did try and change it. How many people would go, hey, yeah. no, fuck you. And then there's people with just whole arsenals at their yeah. house. Yeah. What, what the fuck can they do? There's 300 million people living in this con- in that country or over. And even if they turn the army on, imagine how many people have weapons, yeah. and high-powered weapons. Yeah. The, the country is heavily armed, yeah. everyone. So. Yeah. And that's the, it could be a civil war if they did did stop it. Hey? That's definitely. the exact point, though. That's that's what they yeah, argue. That's the point. That's why we have the weapons, so yeah. the government can never, you know, take over Hope and do whatever they want. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it's true, but unfortunately, you get psychopaths that can. Well, that, yeah, that's that's, that's a leftover out. mentality from where the British pretty much controlled them for so long until they had that big war. Yeah. That's what it is. They're just scared that. Someone's going to come in and tell them what to do. Basically, it's. Yeah. it's I suppose it does insane, happen though. in this day and age. You know, it doesn't. Like when I was in Fiji years ago, they had a military coup, and the military just overthrew the government, and they just controlled the whole place. And people were like, "Don't go." We went. It was a great. You time. were there when that happened. Yeah. Really. Wow. Yeah, we'll drive. Like I hired a car, and we're driving around and. There was military outposts yeah. on every road and every corner. You had to go through checks. It didn't really matter, but that was a tense situation. That yeah, could have blown up. Yeah, so yeah in America, really it's like if that happens and the army comes in, everyone's like, hey, I've got a hundred high-powered rifles in my basement. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it didn't fuck your holiday up in Fiji? No, no, not at all. didn't matter at all. Yeah. I mean, it could have. It could have gone to shit as yeah, well. Yeah, dude, but for sure, yeah. But it was, no, it was well, we've good. we've got here from the man himself, Donald Trump. Yeah, he's uh, this is interesting. He's written on the fifteenth of the second this year. So many signs that the Florida shooter was mentally disturbed, even expelled from school for bad and erratic behavior. Neighbors and classmates classmates knew he was a big problem. Must always report such instances to authorities again and again. However, on the 28th of February 2017, Trump signed a bill that revoked Obama-era gun checks for people with mental illnesses. Uh, okay. <laughs> what, why? Okay. What okay. was the reasoning behind signing what the that? Sound reasoning. That's why. Fuck you, Josh. That's, That's why. incredible. <laughs> uh, what you, the fuck? If you cannot write this shit, eh? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. fucking outrageous. I just, I don't even know what to say that. That's, uh, it just rolled back all of Obama's regulations yeah. and made it hard for people with mental problems to purchase guns. That's fucked. That's not, fucking, not even a year ago. Yeah, it's sad, eh? Like, and that kid just did not give a fuck. Eh? Yeah. They caught him just strolling down the street. He does not care. He's obviously severely... Like, oh, what's he got? He's a sociopath, <sighs> yeah, psychopath, yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Not good, not good in the head. No yeah, animal. which is... Yeah. Oh, that's a hard situation, too. It's, it's, he's just crazy. He's just a crazy cunt. He should be... Locked up. I think they like it comes down to they talk about shit like it's a huge like in America they say it's a basic right to be able to own a rifle, and then they start saying shit like oh if you've got a disease 
you can't take away basic human rights because they the people argue that the right to own a weapon in America is a basic human right the same way people argue that uh, having running water or education is a basic human right. How the fuck right. is that even? Like, how is this guy 17 and can own a fucking, like... Well, that's what I mean because people say, like, oh, just because he's mentally unstable, you shouldn't take away his basic human rights. That's I suppose anything uh, could be classed yeah. as that. That doesn't harm anyone else. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That, that you, I'd agree with that. You're giving someone yeah. something that's specifically designed to, to kill away. people. Yeah, 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 I know, but yeah. it, if you own one, it, does, it doesn't mean it, you're harming someone no, else unless you not. use it to harm someone else. So I suppose you can say it's a basic human right to do anything, to own fucking that glass, to own... Yeah, yeah but to own you a can't pair shoot of off shoes. a school with that glass. To that's own the a, thing. To own some rope and yeah, a it's, chair. Yeah, it's... it's you retarded gotta, it's yeah that. you, you got to give and take you know like you want to live in a society like when was the last time you w- went to school or walked down the street and worried about someone shooting you when i was in america <laughs> there you <laughs> fucking go <laughs> there you go we no, actually I didn't, to be honest yeah. it's it, just, we just don't think about it here it's not something even the police we never it's not something that you think about yeah it's crazy when you go to a country like america and it's similar to here or England, you know, most of you, it's a similar place. Everyone does the same things. Yeah. Everyone's living in a quite a similar way. But you can just buy guns. Like it's so crazy to think that because it's such a good country. Yeah. Everyone, you know, everyone's have living well. They're happy. Well, you know, a lot of people anyway. Yeah. But it seems like such a good place, like Australia. But you can just buy a gun and then go and massacre someone. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's so and crazy it's, to yeah, me. Like, yeah. Can't comprehend it. Well, not only can you just buy a gun, you can go to th- in the same shop that you just bought a fucking pack of chicken nuggets. You can buy a fucking gun. Yeah. You can go and buy the <laughs> new fucking, I don't know, whatever band you like. Go yeah. buy a new Metallica DVD and pick yeah. up an AR on the way out. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, I'll get this DVD and if it, if they sound shit, I'm going to go on a killing <laughs> spree. <spot, so. laughs> it's fucking crazy. And then, you, and then you hear their drama laugh and you're like, yeah... I'm going to go on a killing spree. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that St. Angus snare. Get, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, furious. Yeah, <laughs> he's so furious over the fucking <laughs> snare. Uh, what's, Fuck a, what's the next one you got, man? Um, still got about. the ancient aliens guy's head in my... <laughs> 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 so um, your background. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, did you guys see um, Sean White's winning run? I thought that was pretty... F- uh, I did let not... Me th- you didn't see it? Get, yeah, who is Sean part? White and what did who is Sean White and what did Serious? he win? Is yeah, it, I don't know shit it, about sport. Yeah, neither. Well, Sean, sure, he's like the great. Well, if he's the goat of snowboarding, he Australian. No, nah, he's American. Oh, okay. He's he's he, he must be one of the biggest sports stars in the world. He's basically the Tony Hawk of snowboarding. It's funny. I've heard of Tony Hawk, but I've never heard of Sean. How have White. you not heard? Wait, he, uh, Sean might have his own fucking snowboarding game. T- Tony Didn't Hawk. T- uh, so. Yeah, I think he does. Literally, <laughs> he's ha- he'd be as big as Tony Hawk, man. I can't believe you haven't fucking heard of him. He also win won the. I think he won the X Games in the half pipe oh, okay. skating as well. He's one of those dudes. You watch, you you think that snowboarding can never be pushed beyond the limit of what he just did, and then he comes in the next Olympics and go. Okay, I thought that wasn't humanly possible when yeah, he's just yeah. done it. He's, it was amazing anyway. But there was one other funny thing I was watching on the on the Olympics. <laughs> so that, I was watching the ski jumps and this the one this Chinese jumper went and they had this commentator on there yeah. and she goes she goes, Oh, so classic uh Chinese jump, you can't really um, classic Chinese you can't really tell them apart they all look the same and, oh. then, and then it just went quiet oh. and she goes you see this like, <laughs> like, the mic, like and, the dude, and then he's like eh, and completely changed the subject yeah, yeah. and she, she meant like this all the Chinese have similar jumping styles but yeah, she yeah. completely said oh, it like she's being man. a racist cunt yeah. oh, I, it was this you can't cunt, save man. yourself once it nah, happens she, eh? she fucked up but if you're watching it, they're all wearing like the same color helmet, same color skis, same outfit, and they do like all jump the same. So I, I knew what she meant. Yeah. But I was like, oh, you're fucked. You yeah. lost your job today, son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Fuck, how do you redeem yourself from that, eh? No, I, think, I don't think I meant black people. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, you just got to go worse, eh? You yeah. just go, uh, I hate Asians. Uh, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, any attempt to clarify it just confirms your racism. It gets worse and worse. Yeah, eh? I mean, you, you, you just gotta... have to say, all right, sorry, eh? When that, that shit happens, you're like, fuck, I fucked up. You just have to acknowledge it and be like, uh, oh. I, I don't know if she got fired, but I'm I wouldn't scared be surprised. I'm scared at lot. Sorry. It was hilarious. Uh, yeah. That's fuck up of the week for sure. <laughs> fuck up in this. Yeah. <laughs> and course, also there's that, yeah. um, another one was that, did you hear Ed Tiller's calling call out, out three? Uh, call, call out two, three. I think it was. Oh, it was a call out two. Yeah. yeah, yeah have like you that. heard it? Uh, so I did and I also read the lyrics and I wish I was Dead. They're great. What are you talking it's about? That is music. So that is progressive bad. music at its <laughs> finest. What are you talking about? It's just. Do can, you have something against good some, music? Can we put some effort into those lyrics or nah? Hey, do you have do you have do you have something against good music? In uh, n- well, good just, clean nah. music. No, <laughs> good, good clean music. <laughs> good clean. <laughs> it's fucking horrendous. Uh, yeah. It was so good. Like I actually didn't like, uh, especially when they started going like hell, fucking, you know. I don't know. They started like making a lot of shit, like a lot of assumptions and stuff, and started fucking. Uh, that was their way of kind of I don't know getting to the top or like I don't know. They said a lot of controversial shit. Like, did you ever hear the first stuff that they released? Attila. Or, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was I just like party call. Like it was like rage and stuff. Oh yeah, I remember it was actually that. Yeah. Hell good. Like instrumentally, it was so good. Like guitars were actually fucking hell decent. And then they started going on this like. <laughs> decline yeah. and started getting like really really like okay yeah cool and then just started saying fuck you to random people and then yeah this call out too was basically what you said like, it's just a marketing technique and it, and you know it it's worked. working man. yeah we're talking yeah, about it, it works. yeah it works so. yeah there was that it, that song's a marketing ploy too yeah. and he, even I, re, I saw a video yeah. today of him explaining it and he's like there's three categories some people that are like you're a piece of shit people that i'm just like fuck you and other people that i'm just wanted to say it just to see what your reaction was so yeah it's uh and him and uh is it frankie from amir the vocalist yeah yeah yeah, yeah. him and frankie are like going at each other on twitter and shit now frankie's just shit talking him basically about his shitty lyrics and yeah that's that's, it's you guys i wrote this song uh, in five minutes in my shower and I was like couldn't tell <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah he said some shit like oh I put no effort into this it's like oh yeah no can't can't even tell yeah. you've just literally written fuck 40 times yeah and yeah yeah put random shit on the end yeah, 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 yeah. just rolled a to... dice for the rest <laughs> of the lyrics like. if you want to do a call out did you guys ever hear that dirt nasty guy he was no. um he was in scary movie three he played Eminem in that the, in the parody. Oh, I remember what he looks like. Yeah, yeah. so that dude has a hip-hop uh, parody as well called yeah. Dirt Nasty. And he has this call-out song and it is so fucking good. It's so ruthless. It's, yeah, yeah. It's pop, dropping names or something it's called. You'll you have to check it out. It's yeah, hilarious. Yeah. He just calls everyone in Hollywood out but in such a brutal way. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, good. Nice. Yeah, they can be good, those call-out songs. They've just got to be uh, m- more than a five-minute job in there. Well, it's got to be funny, too. Yeah. Like, it's got to no, be actually witty. You can't just say, hey, fuck you, and fuck you, oh, and also, fuck you. You know what? I just remembered. Did you fucking finish Cloverfield? You know what? <laughs> you fucking did. I actually haven't. Yeah, like, there's literally, shit. literally a couple minutes left. I haven't yeah, you're a piece. fucking... Yeah, I know. Watch it after this. You yeah, know, you know what? Maybe that's a standing testimony to how fucked up it is. <laughs> they won't show these fucking creatures. But oh, I, yeah, 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 I was have you seen before. the new one? No, I haven't. I haven't even started watching it. But like, as soon as I heard it on the on the cast before, I was like, yeah, um, yeah might get into it. Now I don't have fucking internet, so you know, uh, yeah. it'll be like Pop. probably just gonna drill Josh when I get home. <laughs> uh, I don't have internet. But. Spewing that means you won't be able to set up a live YouTube feed for us. Damn it! <laughs> I can do it over four G, but it'll drop out. So you All get like Patreon <laughs> subscribers. We can. Oh right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fucking hell! Um, no, I'd like to get into it, but yeah, I just didn't really fucking like in between moving and stuff. Um, it was just too fucking hard to, to get into it, like another balls deep into another, another episode, like or TV show, whatever else. But 
I think yeah, it's going to be like podcast number 4,000. <laughs> Josh still hasn't watched the end. Of it. <laughs> There'll be an actual clover field yeah. where they get to see the Man, you were angry. Like, you were angry that. as fuck when I heard it. You're like, oh man, all the way through. Then all of a sudden I got to see 30 seconds of a fucking alien. <laughs> this is bullshit. Oh, I dude. fucking watched like wasted hours of my life just man. <laughs> speculating aliens. When did that fucking the new movie come out? The yeah. first one, what, 10 years ago? And they're still honey dicking everyone. That's yeah. why... Oi, it's 10 I years of rage done, built dude. up. Yeah. I'm done with these yeah. cunts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you've probably broken a few TVs just because, hey. <laughs> oh, you're like, fuck this. Oh, fucking hell. What are we going to do for Oakles for the single tomorrow? And I'll tell you. It actually is 10 years old. Is, is it really? Yeah, it's been 10 years since the first one. Do you oh. know what's amazing? You just like, that number just shat out your mouth and it's like, it's correct. Like most things, it comes <laughs> from, uh, complete fucking bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, so what, you got to do vocals. Yeah, for the single tomorrow. And I'll tell you, luckily the universe has handed me a nice sinus infection. Yeah. Oh. And, and I've got a throbbing headache, so thank you. Yeah, yeah, you That's deserve good. that. You deserve nothing but the I'm best. Gonna, I'm going to be the new vocalist. Sorry, man. I'm going to take over. You man, sound Sam. like fucking shit, bro. <laughs> you don't know, man. Yeah, I've yeah you don't know, man. I'd sing, but, uh, you know... People will come while they're driving their cars and shit. Listening yeah, that's to this probably because you'll, be, <laughs> you'll be singing into Bose yeah. hairy microphone. Yeah, <laughs> done, <laughs> done. Uh, but uh, before we wrap this up, I just want to say thank you very much to everybody who's listened. It's been it's officially been the first week we've had so many listens. I, could, yeah. I it's way more than we ever thought. It's just blown all expectation out of the water. So thank you very very much. Yeah, and thanks for all the messages all the you know all the um anyone saying nice things whatever all the feedback's been great so yeah we appreciate we are that. gonna work on the uh getting a better video set up we're just using a gopro at the moment we'll try and get something a bit better so you guys can see our ugly heads in high definition uh and we've got a we may have two quite big guests next week i uh, was waiting to hear back we've definitely got one um but we're very excited to bring that out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you then. Thanks so much for coming on, Bo. And no worries. Jake, when you listen to this, go fuck yourself. Thank yeah, you. Fuck yeah. you, Jake. And fuck also, you, Jake. what song? We'll leave everyone with a song. Yeah, with what, what song, song would you so like to put on? Oh, uh, man. So the rest of the boys song? are going to like fucking not agree with this, but uh, <laughs> one of the ones that I've been listening <laughs> they to. They aren't here. Yeah, fuck them. Um, the one that I've been listening to the most, which probably everyone would be like, what the fuck? Why does he listen to such gay shit? Um... <laughs> Because he's gay. Yeah. <laughs> Piano's become a teeth. Um, no, no, no. Well, no. Oh, no, no. One of your songs. Yeah, one of your songs. So we're going to sign off with one of your songs. But oh. keep going. Recommend that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to recommend that. Yeah, yeah. Piano's become a teeth. Charisma. It's fucking amazing. It's, I didn't mind that band. I've, I've Piano's become fucking, uh, They went like hell, like kind of uh, old rock kind of thing. And yeah. instead of like, because they were kind of quite a hardcore melodic but, band beforehand. Yeah. Melodic hardcore. Is their but name yeah. Piano's become a teeth? Become Piano teeth. Becomes, become teeth. Yeah. Piano's become teeth. Yeah. Oh, the that's teeth. interesting. I think the I can't teeth. remember. I mean, I've been listening. No, to it's fucking pianos years. become teeth. Yeah, it's become teeth. Yeah. Okay, cool. But um, what yeah. song? What song? Charisma. Charisma. Yeah, yeah it's Is like that a, new? yeah, yeah. Oh, it came out last year, but they only dropped it probably um, this week sometime, I think. So yeah, this video has been like fucking out for ages, but it's like one that's like hell, kind of going in the back of my mind. But um, yeah, cool. If you want to add Dev's song. Uh, yeah, at Devs, what's your favorite at Devs song that we can? Uh, my one personally is Basking in Silence because I had the most say in it. Don't give a fuck about the rest, but <laughs> no, 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 jokes. But um, yeah, Basking in Silence, I, I, I like that a lot. Oh, there no you worries. go. So this is Basking in Silence. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thank you.